Hey guys, do you know this game? It's called Karuta. It's an ancient Japanese card game that has been played for centuries. We are at the location where they have a traditional tournament every year. On top of that, this is where they base the location for the manga Chihayafuru. So come on and check it out. Okay, this one's for all you Pokemon fans out there. Did you know that in Japan, the manhole covers are beautifully decorated? And if you're a Pokemon fan, you're going to be pleased to know that there are a whole bunch of manhole covers all over Japan. But the only one in this region is right here in Shiga. Can you see who this is? Yes, this is Gyarados. And a little bit of a quiz for you fans out there. What is the relationship between Koi King, which is Magikarp, and Gyarados. Put your comments in the comment section below. If you win the answer, we're going to give you all a like. Okay, one more interesting fact about the Shiga area. Lake Biwako is an ancient lake, and actually the story behind Gyarados is this is the place where he was born. So it's kind of like Nessie is to Loch Ness, Gyarados is to Biwako. Of course, Japan is the motherland of anime and manga. And we're here today at Toyosato Elementary School to visit the location of the manga and anime, K-On. If you're a fan of music and manga, you might be interested in checking this one out. Me personally, as a musician, I play keyboard, so I was kind of already interested in the keyboardist who plays a really cool Korg, uh, which we saw in another room. But they've got the full band. We've got drums, vocals, guitar, bass, uh, and it's pretty cool that we're here. Uh, Kyoto Anime actually picked this as the location for their story. So it's really cool to actually physically go inside the school that is not a long, no longer a school, uh, but is used for the location of this story. Check it out, Kaon. <laughs>
Okay, we're here at Rose and Berry Tawada Gardens. And they're, one of their coolest features here is a life-size rendition of Shaun the Sheep. Uh, they've made everything look like it's the real claymation. You can actually go in the houses, you can see the characters, you can touch some of the food. Um, and it's, it's built like from a very uh, traditional kind of English style, um, making part of the wall that they had there. The stones are actually from Coltswold. Uh, and they're brought here in Japan to give that sense of authenticism uh, about e English culture and uh, English tradition. So that is one of the main features, opened up a couple years ago. This is a perfect place to bring children, it's great for families, kind of romantic for couples. Uh, they've got, what do they have, like a, a little choo-choo train that goes through the park, uh, illuminations, things light up at night, and depending on the season, you're going to get uh, the, the flowers, uh, the animals, they've got some actual real sheep um, on their farms. But let's give you a tour with this uh, nice billboard area here of what else you can see besides Sean the Sheep's life-size rendition. Okay. Besides that, we have an actual authentic English garden. Now this place is beautiful to walk through. It's so healing. What's that called? Like nature shower, green shower. You're going to feel all the minus eon and, and uh, stuff there. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. We came at a great time. Here is more of an area map. And this place is big from, from start to finish. It's about a 15 minute walk. They've got a pond where we saw some fish jumping. Uh, they have a nice barbecue, outdoor barbecue and restaurant area where you actually, you go and pick the vegetables from their farms and then you can go and eat them in an outdoor style barbecue. This is glamping from farm to table at its best. And uh, they actually have a place that looks like, kind of like Lord of the Rings. Uh, it, it mirrors Hobbiton uh, quite a bit. Uh, so that's a cool place if you want to go there. This place is a great place for families, for couples, uh, for nature lovers, for sheep lovers. No, for Sean the Sheep. Um, come check it out. It's, it's really cool how you can come to Japan and experience a different country while you're vacationing in Japan. So do, please come and check it out when you can.